This screencast is going to look at techniques for using tables within Word in order to create worksheets. In this first screencast, I'll show you uh, what some of the problems are when people use tables. I'll then show you what a solution may look like. And then in a future screencast, I'll show you how to create that solution. So here we've got an example of a sort of word sheet that um, a tutor might create, um, something to do with macronutrients. And on the left, I've got the names of the macronutrients, and I'm asking the students to identify the sources and the uses in the body. And this may look okay, You've, you might think there's nothing wrong with this, but there are a couple of problems. First of all, the way that this has been created is in order to get the spacing correct, if I just click on the show hide button, we've pressed enter within the table. Okay, and this is something that a lot of people do when they're creating tables, is to, to make the rows bigger, they just press enter a few times uh, in order to make the rows bigger. Now the problem with that is if I start typing as a student into my sources for carbohydrates and I start typing in rice, enter, pasta, potatoes, you'll see that what's happening is my table is expanding as I type and still leaving me with blank gaps and that can look a little bit messy. I've also got equally sized columns which is okay but for this situation maybe that's not necessary. So let me just go down and show you an alternative layout. So here I've created uh, the same table, I've used the same information, but the difference here is when I type in here, you'll notice that the table doesn't auto expand until I get to the bottom uh, and then I need to. So it's just a little bit neater way of doing it. I've also um, put a board around the edge so it just makes it a little bit stand out a little bit better. And I've made this column narrower because it doesn't need to be wider to give more space for information to be put into these two columns. Now another thing that I've done is I've actually changed the way that it's formatted. So rather than it being a set size, the size is determined by the size of the page. So if I just go to page layout and then I change the orientation to landscape, what you'll see is the table will, will resize based on that change of layout. Now where this is really useful is if you're producing stuff in landscape um, is if you then go back to portrait is it won't sort of have parts of the table missing off the end which is what often happens when people produce tables. So same information a couple of simple changes and I've made um, some big differences to the way that that table will work when it's in a worksheet. I can print the worksheet out and it will work fine or we can use it on the computer and the students can fill it in and it's just a little bit neater and a bit tidier than the first example that I showed you. In the next screencast I'll show you how to apply those changes.